Good evening and welcome to Yoga Nidra. Get myself comfy here. So my name is Michelle and I'll guide you through your Nidra practice this evening. Whenever you happen to be turning this on. Yoga Nidra is a way to find movement inward and to find a, it's it's kind of a um it's yogic sleep. So it's finding a way to really remove that external world moving inward and I'm going to hopefully help you do that tonight. Find yourself in a comfortable position. You can lie down, you can have props, anything that you need to make yourself comfortable and take the next couple minutes or so to really get yourself comfortable and into a place that you can stay for the next 40, 45 minutes or so. So we'll, we'll do a, a full need for here tonight. So you're welcome to lay down on your back. You're welcome to lay down on your stomach, although most people do tend to lay down on their back. Um, if you're sitting up, then I would suggest putting props behind you so you can kind of recline. You can put something under the knees as support as the legs are outstretched. You can put something under the small of the back, something underneath the shoulders, under the neck. Just find a place, find whatever you need to support your body so you can be as physically comfortable as possible so it does not become a distraction for you as you as you practice your nidra this evening rolled up blankets work pillows work towels whatever works sometimes just lying completely flat on your mat feels great find a place that is going to work for you that you can stay in for a little bit of time and once you've found the supports that you need. Sometimes people get cold when they're practicing nidra and you're welcome to put a blanket or a light sheet or something over you so you don't get chilly. And as you begin to settle, find what feels fidgety. Scan the body, scan the mind and notice what's fidgeting and find a way to release that. If you need to move your leg a certain way, please do release that. If you need to move your arm, if you need to adjust, then really do take the time to give yourself the opportunity to get as comfortable as possible. As you allow the body to settle, bring the awareness to the sensation of the support or the floor or the mat that's underneath you. Notice that there's a small space between, but also notice that you are connected. You are allowed to completely release onto the surface or surfaces, wherever you happen to be. Allow the body to melt. Allow the body to settle, allow the body to fall. Release effort, scan the body for any areas of effort. Starting from the toes and systematically work up. And if you notice any area of effort, allow release with your exhale. Give yourself permission to be held up by your supports and by the floor. Focus on releasing one area at a time. And once you feel some release, then you can progress upward again, starting from the toes and working your way up to the top of the head. Notice any areas of tightness or tension, any areas of discomfort, and then find the antidote for that. Find a way to support more, support differently, support less. Whatever you need. To find that place where the entire body can just melt and release onto the floor where you can allow yourself to be fully supported. Gently close the eyes or soften the gaze. Continue to allow yourself to settle in.
Allow the mind bring its attention to the breath. Notice the breath at first at the tip of your nose. And trace your next inhale as it moves past the nostrils, the rim, into the nostrils proper, down the back of the throat. Noticing where your inhale happens to land in the chest. Notice the expansion. As you exhale, notice the rib cage contract as the breath moves up and out through the lungs, into the back of the throat, and out the nostrils, past the tip of the nose. Maintaining your attention on the pathway of your breath. As you continue to allow the mind to settle in and the body to settle. Allow yourself to feel the support of the floor, the support of the props. Each inhale, notice the rise of the chest and also the expansion of the back ribs into the floor gently. Each exhale, notice the contraction, the rib cage. Shift your attention now to the sounds around you. And pick out one sound upon which to focus. Allow the other sounds to fall away. Allow the distractions of the mind to fall away. When they happen, allow them to float. And bring your attention back to that sound that you've picked out. Shift your attention now to a different sound, perhaps one that's a little closer to you. And allow the other sounds to fade away as you bring your attention to this new sound. Moving your attention now to the sound of your breath. Sound of the inhale as it passes past the tip of the nose, into the body and down into the chest. The sound of the exhale as it moves back up through the body and out the nostrils. 
Maintain your awareness on the sound of your own breath. Perhaps noticing the nuances from outside the body to inside, inside to back out. Shift your attention now to the feeling of the air on the skin. Notice its temperature, its qualities, the gentle pressure of the air. If you have a blanket over you, notice the gentle pressure of the blanket. feeling of your clothing on your skin. Notice the sensation of the gentle pressure of your body on the floor. Bring all your attention now to your right thumb. Experience your right thumb. What does it feel like? How are you experiencing this? Bring all your attention to your right thumb as we begin our body scan body rotation. Bring your attention to your right forefinger. Your right middle finger. right ring finger right pinky the palm of your right hand the back of your right hand The right wrist. The right forearm. The right elbow. The 
Root bicep. Right tricep. Right shoulder. Right armpit. The side of the right rib cage. The right waist. The right hip. Right quad. Right hamstring. The right knee. Right shin. The right calf. The right ankle. The right Achilles. Top of the right foot. The right big toe. Second toe of the right foot. The right middle toe. right ring toe, the right pinky toe, sole of the right foot, shifting all of your attention now to your left thumb. Bring all your attention to your left thumb. Notice the experience of that area. The left forefinger. The left middle finger. The left ring finger. The left pinky. Palm of the left hand. All attention to the palm of your left hand. The back of the left hand. The left wrist.
Oh, that's boring. Left elbow. Left bicep. Left tricep. Left shoulder. Left armpit. Left side body rib cage. Left waist. Left hip. Left quad. Left hamstring. Left knee. Left shin. Left calf. Left ankle. Left Achilles tendon. Left heel. Top of the left foot. Bring all your attention now to your left big toe. Second toe of the left foot. The left middle toe. The left ring toe. Left pinky toe. The sole of the left foot. Bring all your attention now to the glutes. The low back. The 
middle back. upper back. The right shoulder blade. Left shoulder blade. The right trapezius muscle. The left trapezius. The back of the neck. The base of the skull. Right ear. The left ear. Crown of the head, bring all attention to the crown of your head. The forehead. The right temple. left temple, the right brow, the left brow. eyebrow center, bring all of your attention to the center of the eyebrows. The right eye. The left eye and eyelid. The bridge of the nose. The right nostril. The left nostril. Tip of the nose. Right cheek. Left cheek.
upper lip. Bottom lip. Move lips together. Upper jaw. Lower jaw. Chin. The throat. Bring all your attention to the throat. Right collarbone. Left collarbone. Right side of the chest. Left side of the chest. Center of the chest. Bring all your awareness and attention to the center of your chest. Right front rib cage. Left front rib cage. The abdomen. In the ball of the pelvis. Shift all your attention now to your right arm. Your entire right arm. Experience your right arm. Your entire left arm. Both arms together. Move your attention now to your right leg, your entire right leg. Experience and attend to your entire right leg. Your left leg. Both legs together. Experience both of your legs at once. And bring your awareness to your entire front body. And shift awareness and attention to your entire back body. And bring your attention to your whole body at once. Full body awareness.
full body awareness. As you experience your entire body, send calming, releasing, relaxing waves throughout your entire body. Feel the waves from the top of your head as they radiate down, down through the arms into the fingertips and up, down into the torso and the legs and the toes. Experience waves of relaxation, waves of release, moving through your entire body. With each moment, the intensity of the relaxation and release with each wave becomes stronger. Each inhale, allow the wave to intensify. Each exhale, allow it to release a little bit. The waves of the ocean, there's a peak. Allow the inhale to reach the peak. Exhale to become more shallow. It's still refreshing and relaxing. Shift your attention now, back to your breath. Notice the rise and fall with each inhale and exhale. Notice the sensation of the air on your skin, on your face, and on whatever else might be touching the free air. Notice the temperature, the texture, the quality of the air as it caresses your skin. Notice the gentle drape of clothing on the body, the gentle resting of your entire body on the floor. The sound of your breath. Following with your ears internally and externally 
each inhale and exhale as you gently wake the body. Shifting attention now to a sound that's outside of you, but close. Something in the room, perhaps, where you are. Release the sounds other than one sound in particular upon which to focus your attention. Shift awareness now to a sound that's a little bit further away from you, maybe in the next room, maybe outside. Release all other sounds except for that one. Bringing that single pointed focus to that one sound. As you're ready, invite small movements into the fingers and toes at first. Gently reawaking the body with movement, slowly and gradually, with gratitude for the peace you just cultivated and honoring the purposeful nature of shifting gears. Life is abrupt enough. We don't have to come out of our nidra in an abrupt way. So find those small muscle groups at first, move them around, slowly graduate up to the bigger joints, ankles, wrists, elbows, shoulders. Ultimately moving however you need. Bring the knees to the chest. And perhaps rock from side to side a few times. Allow the floor for your mat to give you a massage. As you're ready, roll to your right side, knees still into the chest, and stay on your right side for a few breaths. Again, this does not have to be fast, abrupt, or in any way rushed. After three or five breaths there, begin to slowly work your way up to a seated posture. You're always welcome to keep some sort of support under the hips. Bring the feet into a cross-legged posture. Easy pose. Allow the hips to open, allow the knees to fall. If there's any tension or tightness under the knees, even as we're closing out our nidra, please do put something underneath both. Inhale, arms up overhead, slow movements from those shoulder joints. Press the palms together, feel the energy between the palms. Exhale, bring the palms down through heart center, trace the thumbs with your eyes. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Inhale up one more time, very slow movements. The length of your breath, not mine. Rest the palms at heart center, gently tuck the chin. Rise up through the spine, feel the crown of the head move up to the sky as you root down into the earth, root to rise. Thank you so much for bringing you to your mat, bringing you to your nidra, finding that space for you this evening. It's been my honor to lead you through this class tonight. The light in me recognizes and bows to the light in you. 
Namaste. Enjoy the rest of your night or day. Thank you very much.